Hi, this is Tia, also known as Tots5678, and as promised, I am coming to show you guys my deep conditioning treatment. Um, as you saw in the previous video, I mixed it all up, and I'm getting ready to apply it to my hair. So I want to um, show you guys how I do it. I'm going to go ahead and section my hair off, um, and I'll just take out a little bit from the back. Now, I don't do any detangling um, when I'm putting it on because I don't want to break my hair off. So I'm just going to, I guess, kind of take it apart. And then I won't do my whole head on camera, but I'll show you some sections so that you guys can see. Um, and then show you when I get to the end um, how I tie it up and everything. So I've just basically take, taken an uneven section back here in the back. And then I'm going to section this in three, but in three parts actually. And then this part I'm going to clip, clip up over to the side. And then it gives us a good shake. And then start applying. So as you can see, your conditioner should be real smooth and loose like that after you've mixed it up with the honey, coconut oil, and olive oil. So I'm going to put a good amount on this, and I'm going to just put it, apply it to my dry hair. I prefer to apply it to my hair when it's dry because it absorbs much better than when I have wet my hair. Um, I have tried both, but I usually prefer on dry hair. So as you can see, I'm just going to keep like doing the praying hands method and smooth it down the length of my hair and then just keep working it into my hair. And then I'm going to put a little bit more because I want to saturate it. And that's pretty much it. So I'm going to now just kind of separate it. And again, I'm not going to detangle. I'm going to wait to detangle when I co-wash this um, treatment out of my hair in the shower under running water with um, conditioner. Okay, so now as you can see, it's like a lot. You can see it's sitting on top of there. Um, I'm just going to just take that and smooth it down into my hands and then I'm going to use my excess for the next section of hair. Um, now you will get get some shedded pieces and what I'm going to do is bantu knot this section so as you can see I'm going to keep twisting and this is mainly to get it out of the way. You can actually clip it out of the way if you want uh, but this is just a quick way without touching and getting product on everything. So you can see that bantu knot and then now I'm going to take my clip down and separate another section out. And just so you can see how much I'm getting. And I'll apply it to the next section. Now again, I've been using the same deep conditioning treatment for the last two years since I did my big chop. Um, and I, I haven't gone anywhere else since. I have tried a few other deep conditioning treatments. Um, but this one I prefer because it works best, lasts longer, and I know the true ingredients that are in it. So as you can see, I've got some hair shedding, and then what I do to get the hair um, that's shedding on my hands, I just keep rolling my hands together and make a little hairball, just so you can see what I lost out of those two sections of hair. And now I'm going to twist this section and then get ready to move to the next. Okay, so I'm going to finish um, the rest of my hair and then I'll come back and show you the end, how I tie everything up and my target bag and my stocking cap and um, then I'll go about my day and leave this on for some hours. So I will see you guys soon.
Hi guys, I'm back and I am now getting ready. You see I got all my Bantu knots in um, and I got my unicorn there. I know probably I'm going to hear it. So um, I cannot find my stocking cap so I figured this would be a great time for you guys to see um, how I actually make it. So I have an old pair of stockings. So what I'm going to do is um, grab it right here and then put um, a knot in it sure right at the base. Um, of my stocking cap. That's my daughter interrupting our video. Say hi, Maddie. Okay, Hello. close the door for me. All right, so I just put the knot right here. So all I'm gonna do now, um, and I actually could have gone a little further down. So now I'm just gonna cut the legs off. And so this will be my stocking cap without me going to pay some expensive price for a um, cap to hold in moisture or that this does the trick and of course y'all know I use um, a target bag So I'm going to show you how I tie that around my hair and I only do this of course when I'm doing deep treatments Now if you prefer not to do the bantu knots, you don't have to you can actually just uh, twist your hair And then just fold it up in this thing. So as you can see I'm like wrapping it around my hair Let me turn so you can see so I just have it kind of in a ponytail, or I guess in a gathered here at the bottom. Make sure my hair is covered, and then I'm just gonna twist it. And then once I get it twisted, I'm gonna bring it around to the front, and then tuck it under. It doesn't have to be tight, um, but do, you do wanna fit it to your head, and that is the other purpose of using the stocking cap, because it'll hold my target bag in place. So there's that. Now, when I deep condition on the go, I don't do the bantu knots. I just usually put my hair in twist and then pile it on top of my hair so that I could put um, a ball cap on top of my hair. So, um, but today I'm just walking around the house. Normally, I deep condition overnight, but um, my weekend has flown by and I won't have time. Um, otherwise, I would have to get up and do my wash and go real early in the morning and I don't want to. So I'm just going to leave this on probably for about... Um, three to five hours and then I'll come and do my wash and go and I will definitely show you guys an updated wash and go since my last uh, wash and go uh, video got cut off so all right so here we go and that is it I just tie my hair um, up with the bandana over the stocking cap and this is just will um, help to lock in the moisture for my hair and then also any body heat that I radiate It will be trapped under this bag and under my socking cap and everything and then that way um, I don't have to sit under the dryer So and there we go So this is how I deep condition my hair and again I'll come back and show you guys when I get ready to do my wash and go to show you how that is done um, until next time, I'll see you guys soon. Don't forget to check out my blog, me, my girls, and ournaturalcurls.com. Follow me on Instagram at tots underscore 5678. Follow me also on Pinterest and Twitter um, at tots5678. And then Facebook, tia-tots5678. If you haven't subscribed, go ahead and hit the subscribe button now. You can check out some of my other videos. I have lots and lots of uh, healthy hair tips, makeup tips, you can see what my other videos I have lots and lots of healthy hair tips makeup you can see uh, my hair growth journey and just to see um, just the difference of how I take care of my hair and implement those. If you have any um, tips for me or if you have any comments or questions or video requests, leave them in the comment section below. And until next time, I'll see you soon.